Are you living the best life you can? What's holding you back from truly enjoying the journey? Diane Lang is a therapist and educator of positive psychology and the author of Creating Balance and Finding Happiness. She's here to the show today to show you how to turn your life around and develop and keep a positive attitude. Welcome so much to the show, Diane. Thank you for having me. We could do this quick in the segment We're going to do it, yes. <laughs> All right, you say that there are 12 steps to accomplishing your goals. First, make yourself a priority this year. Yes, really put yourself first this year and the best way to do that is to learn to say no because every time you say yes when you mean no you cause all of these negative emotions such as stress anger guilt so if you can say no and make yourself a priority you'll feel better and you'll be there for everybody else around you is that selfish or is there a fine line between yeah. the two <laughs> you know what women especially always find it selfish to take care of themselves but think of it this way if you don't take care of yourself how are you going to be that good mom that good parent sure. wife sister whatever it is that you're doing so take care of yourself all right uh, be grateful for what you have yes this is huge Gratitude changes your perspective, so this way you can be happier. So if you see things in a good light and you see it in a good perspective, then you'll be happier. Is the glass half full or is the glass half empty? Sure. It's your perspective, your choice. You're not talking about cars or objects. Are you talking about people in your life, maybe a job you might have? And uh, There's nothing wrong with wanting material things sure. or a new car, but I really mean be grateful for what you have. And the best way to do that is to wake up in the morning and go, what am I grateful for? Start off with a gratitude check. You know, whether it is I'm grateful I'm healthy, I have a roof over my head, mm -hmm. I have a job, whatever it is that you're grateful for, but it'll change your perspective and you'll start the day on the right foot. That's great. Uh, and you also say pay it forward all the time. Yes. Random acts of kindness. The more you can do for others, the better off you'll feel. It's a win-win situation. If I help somebody, not only do they feel good because I've helped them, mm -hmm. but I feel good. So it's like that win-win. And every time you do a random boost of happiness, um, you get that happiness. It's true. You really do. Uh, the next one you say, take the word bored out of your vocabulary. <laughs> yes. We should not be bored in our days. We have so much to do. And if you're bored, you probably have a lot of fear going on and you're afraid to move forward. Mm -hmm. So you really want to think about what's going on today that I can do that can make my life more fulfilling. Even if it's just taking a walk, calling mm -hmm. a friend, reading a book, but do something to keep yourself really fulfilled and do things that you love. It's taking care of yourself again. Mm -hmm. Get out of that comfort zone, maybe. Try something new. You know what? the happiest people step outside the box and that is the scariest thing to do sure. but if you take a risk you boost your levels of happiness even more so think about this every time you do a random act of kindness step outside of your comfort zone do something mm -hmm. for a stranger someone you don't know and you'll reap the benefits of happiness all right and the next one says uh, be a great role model this yes. year yes and I really was thinking about that for parents because kids are visual learners. So if you want them to act a certain way or to have certain personality traits, you mm -hmm. need to be that role model. So if you want them to be kind, if you want them to be respectful of themselves, others, patient, whatever mm -hmm. it is, you have to be that person. So be that role model, be that mentor, help everybody around you and especially for your kids. All right. Uh, become fully aware of negative thoughts. Yes, we have that vicious tape recorder that just keeps going <laughs> on and on. I'm not good enough. I'm never going to get this done. And if we keep having that tape recorder playing in our head, that's what we're going to think. So mm -hmm. whatever you think, you end up feeling, you end up believing, that's who you are. So if you can become aware of how negative you are and change that perspective, maybe using gratitude, mm -hmm. then you can actually start thinking more positive thoughts. So that could be a habit. So wake up, do your gratitude, and then say, Wow, I feel great today. I'm healthy. Whatever it is that you feel like saying. Sure. But long if it's positive. Got it. Um, make this year the uh, the year to action. Make, let's try this again. Make this the year of action plans. So people yes. talk about doing things, go out and do them. Right, especially with New Year's resolutions. Uh -huh. We all set up those short-term goals, that long-term goals. Mm -hmm. But what about an action plan so you can actually know where you're going? So set those goals, write it down, but set an action plan of how am I going to get there? Because when we have an action plan, mm -hmm. we are likely to move forward and not procrastinate. It's always helpful to have a little road map, right? It does, and way. it motivates you. You know, when you write a list and you see it checked off, you're like, oh, I got this done. And you <laughs> get that true. sense of positive reinforcement that motivates you to do your next step. Okay, now you mentioned, uh, Dan, live in the present. Yes, that is a big one because for most of us, we either live in the past or we're living in the future. Our past is gone. We mm -hmm. can't do anything about it. It's a teachable, learnable moment. So I'm not saying to forget your past, 
learn from it. Your future is something that we have no control over. So we spend all this time worrying, and that causes all this anxiety and fear. So let the future go. You can plan for it the way we do for, you know, you go to college to get a degree, you set up a 401 for your retirement, but let it go. Live in the moment, okay. and we're our happiest when we do. Uh, spend less time trying to control others. You really can't do it, can you? So why? You know what? We have to realize we cannot control anyone but ourselves mm -hmm. or how we react towards others. So every time we try to control somebody, we're setting ourselves up for failure because it's an impossible task. And the same with ourselves. We mm -hmm. always try to control everything or be perfect. Sure. And there's no such thing as perfection. So let it go and just, you know, do what you can and the best that you can. All right. We have about a minute left. You sure. say it's important to say thank you, I love you, I'm sorry. And this goes along with gratitude. A lot of times we don't say thank you. Even the small things, you know, thank you for picking up my daughter, thank you for getting this. And just reminding people to say I love you, not because you have to, but just because you want to, because it makes the other person feel better. Mm -hmm. And that goes along with like hugs, cuddling, smiling, laughing. It produces endorphins, which is the same happy chemical you get when you work out. Mm -hmm. So the more you show your love, the more you give love, the happier you feel. Great. And the last two you said, um, don't try so hard to be something you're not and let go of all expectations. Uh, just live your life the way you should, right? Right. Just get rid of those unrealistic expectations. Right. Sounds great, Diane. Do Thank what you, you can. Sounds fantastic. Thank you so much for the tips. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Oh, I said random boost of... I